Hey guys, I'm coming at you guys for part 13 of my uh, pre algebra walkthrough, also known as lesson 2 of my unit 3 of the walkthrough, which we're looking at negative numbers. And in the last part, I told you guys that, you know, I taught you guys the difference between adding debt and taking away from debt. And this, this is basically, like, you know, that was just basically an intro to addition and subtraction of negative numbers, which is the next, which is this big topic I'm going to be teaching you guys. This is going to be like a big, like three different chunks of huge lessons, and that's going to basically be uh, unit three in a nutshell. So basically, this is add addition and subtraction of negative numbers, which is basically, in other words, um, we're going to want to do a uh, red, and we're going to want to type text. We make this is the same as saying, um, and in layman's terms, this is basically me saying adding and taking away debt. So, as you could probably imagine, negative numbers are very important because they help us focus how much money we have and all that good stuff. So, it's important that we can add and subtract negative numbers. Let's look at what we're doing when we add and subtract positive numbers. Let's say we have 46 and 30. And like I showed you guys in the last part, when we just write 46 and 30, we, we, we're really just writing positive 46 and positive 30. And we're basically just adding these two. And since, you know... Um, the way the world works and everything, we basically can omit writing positive in front of each number when they're just in positive form. And what we're doing is we're um, this is considered this is basically uh, adding to our own month, adding to our own you know amount because we already own forty. Whoa, we already own forty six, so we're just adding thirty to how much we own. Now, and that's one thing. Let's say we're trying to take away, subtracting positive numbers. Positive numbers are stuff that you actually own. And we want to, we have 46, and we want to subtract positive 30. Positive 46 and positive, okay. So we're add. so this is, because this is considered adding debt to what we own. Which gets a little bit more, a little bit more complex. Basically, we're basically subtracting a positive number. So, as long as we have more money than what the debt is, this bet debt is basically 30. So we're subtract or subtracting positive 30 because that's how much we're so we're subtracting. Um, what happens is we get 46 minus 30, which becomes well 16. So at the end we still have positive 16 because even though we're adding debt to what we own, we our debt still I mean our owned money is still more than the debt itself. So basically, this is how positive numbers work in, you know, how, how positive numbers work. We're basically adding debt to what we own, or we're adding owned amount to what we own. But let's say we want to start taking a look at, okay, now as apparently I, I learned in the last part by sheer coincidence that um, I have the ability to write that. So I have ability for another uh, another uh, color. I didn't know I had this color in my, um, my, uh, my, my array. So, um... That, that reminds me, do I have any other colors that I don't know about? No, I do not. Anyways, um, let's say that we wanted to add debt to what we already owe. Basically put, we're adding negative 40 to negative 40. Let's say we want to combine this debt. We already owe 40. Let's say we want to add more debt to it. Well, in theory, what we're doing is negative 40 plus more debt plus negative 30. And if you think about it, how we're going to solve this is basically simply put, we're going to um, add these, add 40 and 30, and still make it the negative sign because we're still we still owe a lot more money. We owe 70 dollars right now. But if we wanted to um, write this in a different way, and this is going to be like really, 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 this is probably the most important thing that I'm ever going to teach you guys. It's basically like saying. We have negative 40, and then we're just going to subtract 30. And now I'm going to have to explain that. Yeah, really in debt. Negative 40 minus 30. And you sub you'd, you'd assume that this would equal neg like negative 10, right? Wrong. This equals negative 70. 70, not 70. Huh? Is what you're thinking. That's what you're thinking. And... You know, you're perfectly, you're perfectly all right for thinking like that. That that makes no sense. Neg ne negative 40 
minus 30 should equal negative 10, not, not negative 70. Well, let's think about this. For um, One way of looking at this entire way of doing this is, is that for every positive that you own, you also carry along a negative. For every one that you own, it's basically... Actually, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me rephrase this. As long as we have the same amount of positive and negative numbers, this will always cancel out and equal zero because this is like saying one minus positive one, this will equal zero. Now, th this, this always works. As long as we have the same, we, we, when, we, when we're saying zero, basically saying we owe, we have the same amount of positive and negative numbers in our disposal. So this, this, this is, um, as long as this equals four, this will equal zero. But say we start adding, we say we start taking more debt. Say, say, say that we have seven, and instead of writing negative seven and canceling out and making it zero, say that we subtract nine instead. Well, um, by saying seven minus seven, it equals zero, right? But we still have two more negatives left over because this is uh, one, two, this is tally mark wise, it's five, and then just two. Meanwhile, the, the, um, the, the negative numbers is four, one, two, three, and four. Well, these two will nullify each other out, and you know, these these, these will these these will equal zero. But we still have two negatives still unaccounted for. So basically, at the end of all this, we have negative two left over. So our answer is seven minus nine equals two, which makes sense. Seven minus seven will equal zero. But seven minus eight will equal negative one because that's one more debt. That's one more debt that we can't cover, and then you know so forth. We just keep on doing that, and 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 pretty soon we get seven minus nine, negative two. In a similar manner, let's try something else. Let's say that we start. We have nine, and if we were to write negative nine, then that make, make it equal to zero. But let's say we have less debt. We only have six debt. So the tally mark wise, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But tally mark wise, we only have this many negatives. So these these will cancel each other out because you can, negative and positive things like you know they'll, they'll 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 kill each other basically. We still have three left over, three positives left over. So our answer is positive three. But like I said, you don't have to write positive. And if you don't get this, please just re, re, keep rewatching this because this is very important. So basically, what we're saying right now is we starting we're starting off with negative um, negative negative forty, so negative forty, and I am not writing out all those tally marks. Just bear with me. And I want to subtract thirty. Um, by saying this, we're basically saying, okay, you want to take away more positives even though you have less positives. In other words, we already have negative 40 and you know, let's say each one of these is 10, each, tech, each thing is 10. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 40. Negative 40. You already have negative 40, which means that you have negative 40 more positives, more negatives than you do positives. So if we had 6, 7, 8, uh, yeah, let's say we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we all, and we have one, two, just four positives. Basically, canceling out, we are still left with negative forty. So we have negative forty more po negatives than we do positives. But despite that being true, we're still going to want to subtract regular thirty. We're still want we're going to want to subtract another negative thirty. So we're going to add add thirty more to our debt which will let us having negative 70. I don't know why I didn't hide that. So basically, when we say stuff like 40 minus 30, we're basically saying, um, okay, take off uh, 30, take 30 off of what we already owe, add 30 negatives to 40 positives, and that gets us 10. Let's, 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 let's say this again. Add 30 negatives to 40. So basically, 40 minus 30 equals 10. And and when we write this before, we we were just taught this just that that that's how that's how to write that. But now we're saying, but now, but now the pre way of thinking it is we're adding th we're adding 30 negatives. So basically, what we can say is we're adding 
30 negatives. And that's going to net us 10. This is very, this negative, so basically what we, what we can get from this is that, I'm going to write this in my new pink marker, negative is just another way of saying add positive. I'm add, add negative. By saying 40 minus 10, we can easily just say 40 plus negative 10, and that will net us 30. So really, subtraction is 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 not even is is not even subtraction. It's just adding negatives. The only real operation between adding and subtraction, addition and subtraction, is just addition. Because if you don't get that, let me just try this one more time. And after I'm gonna have to end this part because wow, I've made them. I, I made a pretty long part. When we say 40 minus 20 equals 20, we're basically saying 40, add 20 negatives to 40. So 1, 2, uh, 4 minus 2 e equals 2, right? That's, that's, let, me, let me just escape that. I'm working with two big, two big numbers and I feel like writing. 4 minus 2 equals 2. We're basically saying, all right, we have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, yellow is going to be positive. And green is going to be negative, but we're going to add to add two negatives. Basically, subtraction is adding two negatives. We're going to subtract two, which means we're going to take away two. Um, we're going to add two negatives, otherwise known as I mean, yeah, yeah. We're going to add two negatives. Don't don't. I'm not going to confuse you guys anymore. And and we're going to add two negatives to this. So we're basically going to take away two negatives, and that, that what's left over is positive two, right? So four minus two equals two. And that's basically all I have for this part. See you guys next time.